hello my amazing people of god and welcome back to gloria emmanuel god bless every one of you my old subscribers god bless you my year to join the family i appreciate every one of you god bless every one of you abundantly please as you're subscribing to this channel i want you to subscribe to you Please look at me i want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and i want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says in the book of esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces hadassah or esther the bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king ahasuerus and mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten i'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can i tell you this god does not forget but men can forget believe me when i tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men god uses men to lift god uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by joseph and joseph made a plea and said i am in this prison but i am innocent i don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the one press i forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit 
that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is i am i am by the mercy of god the recipient of the remembrance of people who god used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when i tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of god through helpers right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered i will, will do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ We'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer it is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time it says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november i'm saying it by prophecy i stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace may your help not escape december 2021 believe it believe it believe it may your help let it not escape december 2021 Therefore, I prophesy to the east, I prophesy to the west, I prophesy to the north and to the south. Wherever your help is, I gravitate towards your destiny. 